Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. Well, while the tri-state did face a very slim chance of severe weather, it was a much lower risk than what we had this time last weekend where we were under that level three. Today, it was just a level one, and we only had one single severe thunderstorm warning, and that was earlier this afternoon. Since then, it's just been off and on showers and storms with some heavy rain at times. We did have uh, some flash flooding concerns over our eastern and southeastern counties. We'll touch on that here in just a moment. We still have some showers and storms outside right now. Things are quiet for the time being in the Evansville area. We'll start uh, towards the east side of Evansville. That's our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union Tower camera looking towards I-69, the Lord Expressway, high top of Deaconess Gateway Hospital. The Twin Bridges looks like uh, traffic is moving along just fine. Looks like some uh, taillights there towards the uh, bottom of the southbound bridge. Maybe traffic slowing down a little bit from our Ellis Park Tower camera. And our view from the Henderson Strip, that's our Heads Construction Tower camera where we did have a pretty heavy downpour pop up basically right over the north side of Henderson, uh, crossing Highway 41, diving to the southeast, and that's now pushing through the Spotsville area as it continues to grow. Again, we'll show you that here in just a moment. But temperature-wise, we're starting that fall through the 70s. It's been a pretty slow climb or slow fall this evening. 76 out at the airport in Evans. 74 degrees up in Princeton, Jasper at 75, Santa Claus at 74, and the Holiday World area also got hit with some pretty heavy rainfall earlier this afternoon and evening. Uh, Tell City, Owensboro, Beaver Dam all sitting at 72 degrees, and we'll continue a slow, steady fall through the 70s and eventually upper 60s to around 70 degrees by daybreak tomorrow morning. But here's live first warning Doppler radar that severe weather risk is long gone, but we still have some showers and storms to contend with, mainly in our western Kentucky counties, but we still have a couple pop-ups east of Evansville in southwest Indiana. Those, however, are pushing out of our eastern fringe counties. And it's pretty much right along and ahead of that cold front. So once these move out of your area, that should be it for rain for this evening as that cold front draws in some drier air. Not a lot of moisture behind that, but still some pretty heavy rainfall, at least some steady to moderate rains across western Kentucky, primarily over McLean County and kind of where uh, McLean, Hopkins, and Muhlenberg County meets. Uh, we've got some heavy rainfall moving over the same locations. Again, there's that pop-up cell that, again, developed pretty much right over Highway 41 north of Henderson and is now uh, grown, kind of falling apart a little bit, but still some pockets of heavy rainfall just south of Spotsville, about to cross into far northwestern Davis County here. And again, the rainfall totals, uh, once again, just like the last couple of rain events in our eastern counties where you've had a lot of that rain. I know parts of our uh, southwestern fringe counties could definitely use some of that rain where that moderate drought is still in place west of Evansville. But some of the uh, higher totals, again, where we had some flooding concerns on the Perry-Hancock County line, our Doppler radar system estimating uh, with the rain that's fallen today, upwards of four inches in parts of Perry and Hancock counties. And that's going to uh, affect a little bit uh, for our river forecast. Again, the river's not too impacted. It was mainly east of Evansville, but most of our rivers are on their way down. A couple of uh, larger falls, including the White River in Petersburg, set to fall another foot and a half by Tuesday evening. Same story for the Little Wabash River. It's going to fall another two feet by Tuesday evening as well. So again, anything out there right now, number one, should be confined to western Kentucky. Number two should be out of here after about 12 to 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, could have some leftover showers. Future Tracker shows that as we head deeper into tonight, but we should be dry to start our Sunday, which is shaping up to be a very pleasant day. Comfortable with temperatures and very low humidity uh, as well as we start the second half of the weekend. More clouds, though, in our southern counties, so it may not be the best looking start to our day. Temperature wise, though, again, low to mid 80s. Not too bad for the middle part of July here as we approach the middle part of July, rather. Then after that, high pressure sets in and we are very quiet and calm for the start of the week. Plenty of sunshine, dry conditions for Monday and Tuesday. We'll get a little bit warmer, but humidity still off the board. So it's going to be a comfortable day on Monday with highs in the upper 80s and right around 90 to start our day on Tuesday afternoon. But tonight, temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, partly cloudy skies. Again, a few showers possible in our western Kentucky counties. We dry out for tomorrow. I can't roll out a stray shower along the western Kentucky Parkway with highs in the low to mid 80s. Heat and humidity do eventually return, though, as we head into uh, the middle of the second half of next week. Primarily looks like Thursday, Friday, Saturday with a stationary front that is moving through, bringing waves of showers and storms for the second half of next week.